back at the Jefferson houses in Harlem, this time helping his grandmother get her kitchen back. You know we're making it happen. Yes, I also. I feel like I know you because I've seen so many pictures of you and your family. Angela Acevedo lives at the Jefferson houses in Harlem, and her two daughters reached out to us on Facebook for help. You have nine grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Look at these beautiful people. Uh, uh. This is my grand my grandson. You've been here uh, at the Jefferson Houses for how many for years? Like 20 years. 20 years, mm -hmm. wow. And how bad is it getting? How bad is it? It's real bad, real bad. Acevedo says her heart is broken because she can't cook for her grandsons anymore. As soon as we walked into our kitchen, we can see why. Look at this, look at this, yeah. But this is terrible. She has a temporary sink and behind that sink, the wall of her kitchen is falling apart. We saw big holes too near the floor. Is that where the rodents come? Yeah, they're all roaches, all over, millions and millions. It's been like this for two months, Acevedo says. She dreams every day of cooking. What would you love to cook? Uh, platano, maduro. They raising the the rent every year. They raise the rent more and more. So sometimes is it hard to even buy food? Is it hard to buy? Yeah. Yeah. It's hard. We called her daughter while we were in Acevedo's kitchen. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm glad you guys are there. Maybe now she can get the help that she, she needs and deserves. A few hours after we left, Acevedo says workers came to visit. And they started to work on it already as soon as you left. Thank you very much. And NYCHA tells us staff completed plaster work Thursday and will install kitchen cabinets and a sink Friday. Acevedo made us this promise. Are you going to cook for PIX11? Yes. <laughs> it's a deal, and you know we'll be back to check and eat. And we're fighting for you. And if you have a story, reach out to us on Facebook at Monica Morales TV. That's Monica Morales TV. We can be your neighborhood next.